If My People 2012 would like to introduce Mike McIntosh, police chaplain, author, professor, international speaker, and senior pastor of Horizon Christian Fellowship of San Diego, California. Today, Mike will be leading us in prayer for a revival to seek God. This is very exciting uh, to be sitting in front of a camera speaking to you and not being able to see your face, but knowing that you're there. Because in America, where I live, our country is in deep need of God intervening. Man has uh, really wrecked havoc in our country. And man has never repented publicly. There has never been a uh, public official of high stature from the White House on down that has ever stopped America and said, we need to ask God to help us since 9-11. So I would like to encourage you, but also urge you to begin seeking the face of God. We can look in the Old Testament, especially through Jeremiah, we can see his warnings and his callings to prayer. Uh, we can look into Isaiah and see his prophecies about the future. We can look into First and Second Kings and the Chronicles of the Kings and understand that leadership can go astray. In fact, in the Old Testament, when it mentions there is a king, it says that he died and uh, was not well pleasing in the eyes of the Lord. And then all of a sudden, after five or ten kings, uh, this king was pleasing in the eyes of the Lord. So I'd like to read to you something from King David's writings. It's Psalm 103. And as in this Bible that I'm reading from, I have uh, 20 grandkids and uh, six children's names written here because he starts out by saying, Bless the Lord, O my soul. And I'd like to bless the Lord, O my soul, for all the family God has given me. And that's a great way to start seeking his face. All that is within me, bless his holy name. That means I give him my time, my energy. And when I'm blessing him and seeking his face, there's no distractions. Uh, doors opening and you're praying, you know, or something, and you get distracted. You just put a position in your life that you go to some place and you sit down and you just pour your heart out to God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Now, I know that there are a lot of people that believe in God, and uh, they may even claim to be a Christian. They have no clue that there are benefits. And the Bible tells us that God blesses us abundantly. Like in tithing, he tells us that test me and see if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing you cannot contain. That's a benefit. Uh, listen to a couple of David's benefits. Uh, who forgives all your iniquities, not some or a few. Every sin, wickedness, evil thought, deed, it's all gone. The iniquities of our lives, all of them he forgives. So as you seek God's face, something may come up in mind and you just call out to God and ask him to forgive you. And it was the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for you that forgave you of your wickedness and your iniquities and who heals all your diseases. That's a great benefit that we can go to God for our sicknesses and illness. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies who so satisfy your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. So God tells us there is a place in seeking his face that he can bring vibrancy into our lives. And I beg you as a pastor and as a Christian, as a daddy and a husband and a friend, we need God to do something for this country and all the countries of the world. It's happening just like the prophets said it would be. The world is aflame, as Billy Graham says, and our hearts should be aflame for God Almighty himself. He says, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to be together with you. And we would pray, Heavenly Father, that your Holy Spirit would minister through this video, that you would come through laptops and iPhones and Androids and desktops and iPads and uh, all sorts of devices, Lord, that can help us listen and see as we're walking, as we're sitting in a beautiful place. May you bless our hearts and our nations to repent of our sins and allow God to draw near to us as we draw near to you. God, please 
Help us see your face and live a life pleasing to you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Thank you for praying for our nation. Please continue to pray for today's prayer topic throughout the day. We encourage you to share this video with others who may want to participate in the 40 Days of Prayer for America. If you would like to view previous day's videos, please visit www.ifmypeople2012.org. If My People 2012 would like to thank Mike McIntosh for his voluntary participation in praying for America. For more information about Mike, you may contact horizonsd.org.